Morning guys, Unfrequented World out on the trail this morning. It's the day after we heard screaming in the bush last night. My neighbor had a fire and I'm just gonna walk the trail and look for tracks uh, to see what kind of animals were around. I wanna talk about this camera and missing files. It's, it's very strange to me. I have never had that happen before. Yes, it, I say never had that happen before, but it did. This is why I find it so strange. I have never lost files on a camera. This week, if you guys watched the fishing video where I went out with Cody and we went brook trout fish fishing, I had a completely different camera, completely different SD card in it, uh, a little point and shoot Panasonic Lumix ZS200. And it has a Patriot A2 V30 video SD card in it. I recorded a whole bunch of video clips on that and as well I used my phone. When I got home that day, all of the video from that Panasonic camera was gone. The pictures were still there, the video was gone. And I thought, well, we were out ice fishing all day. It was bouncing around from the snow machine ride in and out. And I just kind of knocked it off as, hey, I've never seen that. It's strange. I formatted the card. I put that camera away. Last night, I'm using the uh, camcorder, which has a completely different SD card in it. Samsung Evo 128 gigabyte card. Same card that's been in this camera for 10 months. We have never lost a file. We have never had an issue. So twice now within a week, I have lost video files on two different cameras and I can't explain it. The deeper I go down this Sasquatch paranormal, whatever hole that I'm digging here, it's weird. So last night's recordings, I'm not gonna put a lot of stock into, I heard whistling, honest to God. I recorded it, um, we lost those recordings. I went back to the fire, I talked to those guys and I asked them, hey, were you guys whistling for the dog? Was anybody whistling? They all said, no, it wasn't us, we weren't whistling. Again, those clips were lost as well, but uh, I, I'm gonna discount all of the recordings I made last night because there were people out in the bush. They were having a fire, they had music on, they, I could hear their voices echoing once in a while through the forest. So I'm not gonna put any stock into that. I really wanted to capture that screaming, whatever it was, because then we could analyze it as a group. We could say, hey, I know what this is or what it isn't. And I could put it in the context of an animal and not kids fighting and screaming and playing and because when I heard it outside, that's what it sounded like. I just thought uh, it was the young girl over here screaming. It wasn't, so. Biology professor Gary will tell you that this is the time of year that foxes mate. So, could it have been a fox? Yep, could have been a fox. Uh, but, if you look at the last video, Neighbor Tom, Turd Watkins, uh, posted on the video uh, his thoughts. He said, I've been living here 15 years and I've never heard anything like that. So I pinned that at the top of the last video. Um, it's strange. You'll notice that these guys hear things, uh, the wives too. Nobody wants to go investigate. Nobody, I don't know. I, hey, I hear that stuff. I'm running for the bush. I don't know. Maybe I'm the strange one. I want to know what it is and why it's screaming. Birds. I thought I heard a whistle there, but it was a, uh, I think it was a crow way off in the distance. The dog would stop walking, I swear I can hear whistling again right now. I can't hear anything. I can't pinpoint anything with the dog running around in the snow. Anyway, the reason I'm out here today is I've got a couple trail cameras 
And you never know, if something, if a fox went in front of there, maybe we'd get him sitting down and screaming, calling for a mate. Maybe that could uh, disprove the whole, what did we hear last night? I don't know. So I'm going to grab those trail cameras. The chance of something actually being on there is pretty slim, but... So this story that I was telling you guys last night is a bit of information, something new that I learned. I have a native fellow in my one of my courses up at the local college. He's probably my age, maybe even a year or two older. And we talk hunting and fishing all the time. He's from the reserve uh, north of here. And uh, he was telling me, we got on the subject of Sasquatch. And he was telling me about his people's beliefs and theories and legends and some of the stories. And I didn't know this, but apparently to his tribe, his people, and I didn't know this, but apparently uh, his people's stories and legends tell of Sasquatches being like uh, a protector of the forest, but also to tell you if you're not leading the, the right lifestyle. If you're a bad person or doing bad things, Sasquatch will visit you. And he was telling me that his brother was leading the typical res life, we won't get into it, but doing bad stuff and bad things. And uh, he was being visited by something at his place. So the guy in my class took his daughter and they went out to spend the night with him at his cabin. And he said they heard knocking all over the cabin walls all night long, 10, 12 feet up. They couldn't explain it. And the guy's daughter was like, she woke him up and she said, Dad, can you smell that? And he said it was the most god-awful stink. They didn't know what it was. And uh, he said absolutely he believes that uh, that was Sasquatch visiting his brother to tell him, hey, you are not leading the proper life here and to get back on track. So I didn't know that that was part of the native legend or mythos with uh, Bigfoot Sasquatch, but apparently there are tribes that uh, that is what his role is. Normally I don't address the stupid people, the comments on the channel, but there was a guy last night who, who had the audacity to post on my video, stop posting Bigfoot videos with nothing in them. Do you know how ridiculous you sound? Is there anybody who has posted a Bigfoot video with anything in it to this point? No, there isn't. That's why we're out here looking. So that guy got his, uh, he got blocked from the channel and uh, that's what I do. Anybody who posts negative comments or negativity, you know, the armchair guys, if you can have an opinion, that's fine. But if you're going to be negative or, uh, you know, start telling me what to do on my channel, you're getting muted and you're getting blocked. So I've actually added a handle back to the camcorder setup. And that takes this cord out of the equation from getting in the way. I don't, I don't know why they designed that so that the cord would plug in right where your hand has to go through this handle here. And then they've got a cord sticking out. It was the stupidest design. So I've put a handle back on here. It adds a bit of weight to the camera, but actually it should make it easier to be stable. So we're gonna try running with that for a while. And it makes flipping the audio back and forth when I'm behind the camera talking, I flip this around. It makes that very quick and easy as well. How's the stabilization with that new handle? This camera does an excellent job. I mean, we're walking on uneven, crusty snow. All kinds of tracks here in the snow. Grouse right here beside me. Uh, fox, rabbits. No lynx tracks. That's kind of what I was thinking last night. You know, maybe this could be a lynx as well. So over the next few days and nights, I'm going to be very vigilant. I'm going to have the parabolic dish set up on the back of my deck and just going to let it run for a couple hours at night. The problem with the parabolic... Oh, that's weird. He's never done that before. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Okay, that's really weird. going on here he has never done that before I don't see anything it's almost like he's afraid he's backing up go on go get it better him than me go on gauge go get it go get it go get it I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. I see rabbit, squirrel. I don't see any lynx tracks. I don't see any fox tracks. He has never done that before. If it was a rabbit, he'd be gone chasing it. I've seen him chase lots of rabbits back here. Coyote, I seen him take off after the coyotes, not a second's hesitation. Thank God it's daylight because if he did that at night, I'd be freaked out. We're in one of the deeper sections of the woods right here. I'm just going to keep moving. Weird, we got through that 100 meter stretch of trail and now he's fine, he's back to pulling on sticks and chasing his own tail and whatever else, I don't know. Fortunately or unfortunately, I gotta walk back through there. Once we get the trail cameras, there's still another half mile up the trail here. I'll keep a close eye on him and see when we get back to that spot, does he freak out again? Now that we've hit the edge of the swamp, I can see all kinds of fox tracks out here. Like I'm looking in front of me here, there's at least five or six different fox trails. Lots of rabbits and stuff too. So, was that what we heard last night? I don't know, I can't say. What I can say is that there are no Bigfoot tracks here in the snow. And as I showed you guys in the video last night, the snow here is still over my knees. So, I don't know. Nobody, nothing, no, 
there isn't an animal alive that wants to go through that in winter and expend that much energy. So if we're talking physical animal, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. At this point, I don't know, I'm not even talking physical animal. With all these weird things going on, I can't, there's something weird going on here. And I think it's since I started looking into this that the weirdness has quadrupled. Thanks to last night's weirdness, I've actually stopped twice on the trail here and checked the camcorder to make sure that I've got all my recordings, or as best I can tell, I'm not missing any recordings. I, just, I can't explain that, weird. So if we talk about temperature, last night was really mild. I spent an hour out behind the house with no gloves on, and today, same thing, I don't need gloves. Uh, it's probably minus one, minus two. It's actually colder now than it was last night. So that doesn't explain the camera acting up and being weird either, because I've used these cameras right down to minus, to be honest, minus 20 degrees Celsius. You have to change the batteries a lot, but they will work right up to minus 20. And I've never lost any footage before, so I can't explain that. Nice. This one's got 45 captures on it. There's actually two fox tracks right here. One that the dog is sniffing down, and then just be, oh. That's what happens when you step off the trail, right over your knees. So one track here that the dog is on. He likes the fox track, and then the other one is right here, just beside it. So, is that the same fox going two different directions? I don't know. Uh, I can't get over. <laughs> Jeez. So, I mean, hey, could could that be mating foxes back here? Yeah, I mean, that would be my guess, guys. As the screaming, I mean. That's logically that is the thing that we have the most evidence for all kinds of fox tracks out here It is fox mating season and people do hear screaming foxes So I wish we had a recording to verify that 100% but as a biologist that would be my guess Okay, we're just leaving the swamp heading back into the deep woods Maybe 150 meters up here is where the dog freaked out earlier I'll keep an eye on him here and see what he does. Right now he's acting pretty normal. Nothing, I'm standing in the spot right here is where he freaked out earlier. Right by that big pile of granite behind me there. Nothing. He's running around. I know he's normal mode when his ears are flopping. I don't know what he saw or smelt. I have no idea. I didn't see or smell or hear anything. I just thought of one other thing to mention about the dog's weird behavior on the trail right there. If you guys watched my metal detecting series, we did the nudist colony from the 50s on a beach there one day, and there was a black bear eating berries along the shoreline, and the dog just went nuts, but he was running towards it, like trying to chase it off, trying to either play or attack, attack it. He was not afraid of a black bear. So I don't know this morning what that whole fiasco there, backing into me, you know, growling, hackles all up, like he looked like he was afraid. 
maybe a lynx, but I didn't see any lynx tracks. He's not afraid of fox. He loves the fox tracks. He sniffs those all day long, so I can't explain it. I just keep an eye on him, and it's all we can do. All right, I'll catch you guys back at the house, and the next thing you guys will see will be the trail cam footage.